Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes Origin. Movie Akito herself. And yes, I got more of these Snake Eyes movie figures. There's only one more I gotta pick up. And that's the Baroness. And then I'm done collecting G.I. Joe classifies Snake Eyes movie stuff. We can start working on the Real American Hero line, huh? You're probably wondering where did I get this? I got this online for ten bucks. That's how much I paid for her. And it was eBay I paid 10 bucks for, plus a little tax. But other than that, a good looking figure. But now that it's been a minute, we're gonna open up the box and pull out our brand new G.I. Joe Classifies Akito herself. We got her wielding her swords. So yeah. She comes with an optional weapon as well, so let's dig that out. Before we look at the fig the bo the figure itself, we're gonna look at the box. If I can get the box to close. Ah. Nice product shot of Akito from the movie. G.I. Joe classifies Akito, Snake Eyes movie, 18, this is figure 18, all the different insignias, why not, got the Rashi Kong Kage symbol, another shot of Akito, looking very nice, and a product shot of Snake Eyes, why not, and there I say why not. But now we look at the figure itself. So I can get her the stand. Here we got Akito, ready for battle. Articulation, her arms can bend, but she's really tight and I don't want to break her arms. Have to loosen them up a little bit. Thing is to loosen them up a little bit. Then try bending them. That other arm ain't gonna bend. Head is on a ball joint. Her knees can bend, but I'm afraid of breaking them. I'll try loosening them up. If they're not loose, then it's just gonna be shown off like the way it is. And she's got two staff swords, but they can combine into a big sword. So we have a big combined sword right here. The double-edged blades sword for Akito. If I can get her to hold it. Oh yeah, she's got a staff sword, so she can go stab you from the front and the back. And yeah, that's pretty cool. And that's my sword sound. Is this figure worth 10 bucks? Um, yeah. If you like the Snake Eyes movie as much as I do, she was worth 10 bucks to pick up for the collection. But before we end this video, we're going to get down to comparisons. I got some comparisons here. Here is G.I. Joe. Buys Akito next to Snake Eyes. And of course, G.I. Joe classifies Snake Eye movie Scarlet. This is not the uh, classifies figure, but it's in the same scale as classifies and it looks a lot better. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And last but not least, for comparison, Mortal Enemy, Storm Shadow, and yeah, that was a comparison I had to do, because he's Storm Shadow. 
He's got two swords. She's got two swords. But I think this figure was worth 10 bucks paying, and I'm so glad to have her in my collection. The only one I'm going to hunt down now is Baroness, and I'm done and tracking down some G.I. Joe Real American Hero figures for my collection. And yeah, it's a good looking set, and I'm so glad to own it. So far, what I own. And before I move on, I'd like to state thank you for liking, thank you for commenting, and thank you for subscribing. I appreciate all your support. Forgive my channel past its subscriber count. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.